Hello, my name is Cage and few videos ago I told you about box with extra gear. Last time I told about button. Here is the link. Today I want to show a joystick. Here we go. Beautiful joystick with USB cable which work like ordinary MIDI controller. Now it's time to make some music with this. Here is the project. The main thing is patcher. I have uh, two MIDI ports. First MIDI port, Novation Launch Key Mini, MK3. And second, that's joystick. I used joystick in mode of FPC. Let's open it. A button, trigger the kick. C button, trigger the snare. X. Crash Y Ride Z Hat B Button Triggered Fruity Keyboard Controller Little later about it Sounds of FPC Wrote it like this Kick is for output 1 In the mixture Kick and snare Going to 11th channel From 11th channel That's wrote it to the 12th channel where I used EQ, transient processor and limiter for increase gain. All of this is created for sidechain compression. Crash, right, hat, gonna do 10th channel and 10th channel, gonna do 4th channel, where the limiter is inserted in the FX rack. If you watch in the sidechain input, you can see KSSC, kick snare side chain. Let me show how it works. When kick is beating, crash is side chaining. I think it's understandable. Next, we going to keyboard. Main task of keyboard is baseline. I'm pushing down case. And we're here the bass. Bass rotated in the 
9th channel, bass going through multi-band compressor and going to channel with delay, reverb and glue compressor. Delay channel with delay 3, reverb channel with reverb 2, wet on maximum, dry on minimum. As for delay, dry minimum, wet maximum. Delay and reverb going to the fifth channel with glue compressor. If I'm turning this off, we don't hear the reverb and delay, but if I turning on the compressor, we hear how reverb and delay gonna louder. Compressor works with extreme values, so I need a limiter on this to limit first peaks of this level. And glued sound gonna do fourth channel with limiter and sidechain by KSSC. Next, if I turning off the bass synth and turn on 8-bit synth, I'm muting bass on the mixture and let's listen to 8-bit sounds. That's playing chords, because we have VFX K mapper. I'm playing only one note, but here the chord. And I used VFX skateboard splitter with transpose on 12 semitones. Together bass and 8-bit synth, bleep, free VST synth and face plant. It's a cool plugin from Kilohertz or Kilohertz, I think. And we hear this. And finally, a few sentences ago I said about keyboard controller. Let's see. We have only one note and this note is B on joystick. What does it mean when I press B value of some parameter going to maximum? When I release the button, 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 uh, value is going to zero pretty fast, 72 milliseconds. And what kind of parameter I controlled by this? That's resonator. Look at this. I'm pushing down B button and values of resonator getting maximum values. On, off, on, off. And it sounds like this. And all of this going to master channel with Maximus. Few words about the controller. We have four MIDI messages, four cross, I think, and one MIDI message per button X, Y, Z, A, B, C. What kind of MIDI data we receive? Up is channel 1, node C2, down, D2, left, E2, right, uh, A sharp, 2, I think, Oh, uh, well, we have some messages, but with start button, we can change that uh, messages up is C3 start up is E bemol 4 start up is F start up is C4 start up is C2 again. We have five stamps. My mate sent me a table with list of modes. Chromatic, diatonic, multi-channel, drums for FPC and drums for FL Studio Mobile or FL Mobile, I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't have FL Mobile because it's not worked with my cell phone or mobile phone. That's really interesting idea to create controller with this form factor. But a controller with such a form factor turned out to be extremely inconvenient for me. The foot button turned out to be much more convenient for me.
Don't forget to comment this video, like and subscribe. See you later. Thanks for watching.